All right, I'm finished with my makeup. I have to let my mascara dry and then I get to wipe off some of the like excess. Um, I need to put my lip product on too, but we have a lot to do today. I have to go actually drop stuff off with my accountant. And it's so funny, last time I saw him, I waddled in his office at 38 weeks pregnant with Ezra um, because you know Ezra was due right around tax time. And so we came to pick up our final taxes and sign everything. And um, it just so happened to be after my 38 week appointment. And he was like, you know, good luck. Um, now you're expecting your baby soon. And today I'm gonna waddle into his office. Another baby. Um, just you know, like a year later. Um, this baby is huge. I'll have to tell you about that in a minute. But this, oh my gosh, this is the Life and Lilac Heartthrob Roll-On Perfume. They actually come in new bottles now. I ordered another one um, just because I love this one so much. I'm going to start using this as my daily perfume because it's a roll-on. So it smells heavenly. But I feel like, I don't know, I feel like I smell roll-ons a little bit better. Um, I wore this the other day um, at baby shower that I was at with my friend that we threw and I got so many compliments people were like you smell really good so I don't think I've ever mentioned this before I know I usually share the dime one but I am loving this scent because it just smells like very dreamy so probably I'm using like way too much but I am obsessed with the way it smells so I'll link this below for y'all she makes candles as well like that's actually what started is she started making candles and people love them so much they were like hey um can you make those into perfumes and now she makes candles and perfumes and I actually ordered the candle at this the other day because I found this one in my drawer. I thought I had lost it. Absolutely incredible. So when I found out, I was like, I'm gonna put this with my stuff, like my getting ready stuff so I don't lose it anymore. I wish you guys could smell me. I smell divine. But I have so much to do. March picks up literally from now until my son is born in August slash. I don't think I'm gonna let him change the due date. I don't, I don't love that idea, but He's measuring 10 days ahead so but because we know what day this baby's actually conceived i don't i'm not i'm not gonna do that okay i'm talking out loud let me do my light product i have a lot of work stuff to do today but I got ready and i wanted to just share that perfume with y'all it is a roll-on only i don't believe she makes sprays but seriously i smell good Everything. Oh, I don't have a binder clip though. So. Okay, so UPS is here. Zeus is losing his mind. I do not have Sam's W2. Is that what they're called? W2. And it is frustrating me because I hate to not have something. I'll just send it to him later. It's not a huge deal. But I, they send out a tax organizer. So we like, you answer all these questions. And then I, um, so that's what this paper is. And then I separate out my forms with a separate paper clip from Sam's forms. He does both business and personal taxes. And then this folder actually is really cool. And I'll link it for you guys from Amazon. I'll show you the side of it. So it has 12 tabs in it. And I just separate out all of my, I think I've showed all this before. I separate out everything by month. So I include, because I keep track of my expenses, my income, everything, um, just for me personally. And then I will put the receipt for that month so that if there's like, he has a question about something, got it, he can like flip to, you know, okay, I'm on September, she had this, what is that? You know, he can go see my receipts. So I am going to, and I don't, I mean, I don't think I have to do this. I just, like to have it all done for him. And I do not have a binder clip. I don't know how it's possible that in this entire house I don't have a single binder clip, but it's fine. So I'm going to put a notebook around it. I mean, a notebook, a um, rubber band around it. 
And now we have got to go. I'm gonna show you guys my belly real quick. I haven't made the bed yet. And then I'm gonna actually show y'all my um, Chick-fil-A order because it is freaking packed with protein. And I don't think I shared that in the last vlog. I may have. I can't remember. But I will have to insert a clip after this one. We went and had an ultrasound done and I was 16 weeks and four days when we had the ultrasound done and the baby was measuring 18 weeks. And um, the uh, ultrasound tech was like, he looks big. Like he looks really big. He's not even fitting on the screen. And my mom was even like, he looks kind of large. So when we saw 18 weeks, we were like, cool. But he is, um, we know what day he was conceived. So he's just growing big. Like he's just a big baby. But Ezra did that till I was 36 weeks and then he chilled out. Look at this. Look at that baby. Uh, 17 weeks today. So, or 17 weeks in one day today. So, big old baby in there. And I'm wearing this big oversized uh, t-shirt. I will link it for you guys, but I have got to go. Let me put the clip in here. It's so cute. You can hear the little baby's heartbeat. It's so precious. Cutie. There he is. Oh. oh my goodness. <laughs> Like little blob. Yeah. And they're so precious. God, I cannot get over how much bigger he looks. He's heartbeat, Ezra. Moving that hand. <laughs> don't have a ton of camera batteries, so I'm gonna try and do this very quickly. Um, I thought they were both full, so I'm gonna share my Chick-fil-A pickup order with you guys. I am picking it up at the restaurant, and it is honestly so, one, very healthy, lots of protein, but two, it is so good. So you're going to get the grilled chicken sandwich. You're gonna trade out the multi-grain bun that's 210 calories for the white bun unbuttered that's 150. I swear it's better that way. I saw someone who she's like a, she tracks macros on Instagram. I've had to start tracking my protein, so like I'm kind of tracking my macros, more or less just really tracking my protein intake. And she said that it's actually better that way, so I switched it out and I was like, oh my gosh, it's so much better. But it's also less calories, so that including the honey roasted barbecue sauce, Makes your sandwich 320 calories if you count your calories. I'm only counting protein. So make sure you get the honey roasted barbecue sauce. Okay, that is the key. Then for a side, you can kind of do whatever you want. I'm gonna do the kale crunch side with the roasted almonds. And my camera is, of course, this battery is dying as well. So you get the kale salad with the roasted almonds and then the sandwich the way I said, it's 502 calories total but the protein is 35 grams. So very good. Um, I will sometimes get the grilled chicken nuggets is instead of like the kale side, but I haven't had any greens today. Um, and if you do that, it's 50 grams of protein. So if you track your protein, that is definitely a very high in protein meal, which is so good. Um, and that's just really what I need for the baby. I've been someone who has always kind of just struggled to get protein. Like it's not my favorite thing to eat. Um, I've had people ask before, like if I ever would go um, plant-based and honestly no, because the protein that I usually get is from meat. So um, that is what I kind of have to do. And so I just track my protein, especially when I'm pregnant to make sure that I'm getting enough, the baby's getting enough. That's, you know, really important. So I'm going to go and and this up at the restaurant. It is definitely easier to order in the app than anything else. Um, and I've got to run in and use that. And then I'm gonna go home because my taxes are officially dropped off and they're, they're on him to do now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so let's explain a little bit about, there's still some revisions that need to be up. So this piece, I think he cut, was it that he cut it too short or something? So. Yeah, something. So they have to send another one of those pieces. This, they needed to get smaller drawers for. He ended up cutting that down. Um, and then he'll have to finish this out. He ended up having to like custom make this. Um, but this is meant to look like cabinets. And it is the entry to our pantry. And this was like what sold me on the house plan. So we'll have this over here. And then the finished, un, I'm sorry, open shelving that's gonna be like wall to wall is on its way. Um, it's from a different company though. And then, so we've got, that will be where our fridge is. And again, like 
this part is gonna be painted same color. So we've got that up there. Coffee bar area. Coffee bar, all that stuff. We went with drawers instead of base cabinets and I'm so happy with that decision because they're so deep and you can like actually put your pots and pans and stuff down in there instead of having to like bend down and like reach into it. So, um, and everything is soft clothes. So we've got this area here. Now the island, the cabinet, I mean the, um, where will it come out to? Oh, here, duh, obviously. So this obviously is where the um, quartz will come out to. And then we've got main part of our kitchen. Gas um, stove top will be there with those underneath. And then our double oven. We went with a double oven instead of a microwave oven. Um, and then we actually added these two because there's a closet on the other side into the half bath. And we just didn't need that. And then the hardware actually for the island, they'll come in and clean all this stuff up obviously, um, is gold. So another really deep drawer. It's our hardware. Trash can. Our sink will be right here. I love it. And then we also, I mean, all the other stuff is finished, but we also have our cabinets in here done. And then um, we'll have, I think we're gonna get floating shelving. Um, I go back and forth about doing it on both sides or putting like, I think it would be beautiful to have artwork there. Sorry, towel guy was, is here and I didn't wanna film him. Um, laundry room cabinets. It was supposed to have upper cabinets in here and I was like, we do not need that many. Um, we are gonna have to get a pull for this because this was like an awkward size and then he's gonna add the additional pull. I think there's like one that should be around here somewhere but he's gonna add that there because this was supposed to be a sink last minute after the cabinets have been decide, um, designed and decided not to so we'll eventually add a drawer there but for the time being we do want it to look, you know, finished and then I'll show you all the half bath. Our lockers are also coming from a different company. We're not actually doing like closed lockers, but they'll be right there. And then half bath too. So I think that's everything. And then we also have our doors. So obviously they will all get painted. Like I had, I put this up on Instagram yesterday and some people were like, um, what? <laughs> so they all get painted. They're like a muted, like beige color right now. Um, they'll all be painted white. But the double doors are for our closet. We have all of these like single doors and then you can't see it, but back behind here is the double glass doors for our, um, our office. So yeah, I don't want to go film the tile guy, so I won't show up. Okay. Hey, hey baby. All right. So that's so, everything. That white tile looks good though. Do you love it? Yes. It's going to look really good. It's going to look so awesome. And we'll show the bathroom next time. And again, he's in there. So um, that is it. But we are standing in our future kitchen. And I cried the other day. I literally went home after like seeing it for the first time. And I just sobbed uncontrollably. We feel so blessed every time we come here. But like this makes it feel just like a house. It's, or it's starting to feel more like a home, I guess, rather than just a house. It like, it gets me emotional. If I think about it, talk about it too long, it might be get very teary-eyed. Yeah.